to Boulder now, where two CU engineering students are using their skills to make cycling safer. Yeah, so far this year, nine cyclists have died on Colorado's roads. The latest a woman hit by a car near Bayot in South Marion Street in Denver. Connor McHugh met with them earlier to learn about their new innovative bike light. And Connor, these CU students think that they have a solution to make our roads safer. Yeah, Karen, it's called the Shine On Dual Beam. It's a light that clips to your handlebar like any other light you've seen. But instead of pointing forward when you click the button, it illuminates the rider so that any driver on the road should be able to see you from further than they ever would have before. Like many other Boulderites, Alex Mulvaney and Kathy Vega ride their bikes everywhere they go. But two years ago, the CU engineering students say they saw a trend that needed to change. And every day on the bike path, someone would pass me, but they had the brightest light imaginable. It would blind me every single day. And I'd be like, wow, I know you need to be seen, but that's just too bright. Mulvaney says his idea was to turn the bike light around. He and Vega found a 3D printer and whipped up their first prototype. This is the light that illuminates the rider coming out the rear with a special shield so it doesn't reduce your night visibility at all. Two years later, the students call their device the Shine On Dual Beam. It has an adjustable front light and, more importantly, a colored backlight. Um, our own tests show that you can see someone 250 times more visible using our light, and you can actually see a cyclist from 10 times farther away. This week, the pair launched a Kickstarter with two other students. Their goal, mass produce the dual beam so more cyclists can be visible on the roads. This isn't a new problem, right? Like cycling safety has been an issue for years and we recognized it two years ago. But with the increased like tragedies recently, I think it's encouraged us even more to like really recognize the need to make changes for cyclists. Eventually, the group wants a similar light for the riders back. After that, a corporate partner. And just allowing us to get these to more people and making more cyclists safer, encouraging more transportation. The students say this wouldn't be possible without a stipend to help make this from CU's startup accelerator. When it does hit the market, it will retail about $110. Live tonight in Boulder, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.